uh, my personal test account it has been timed out let me restart the connection okay i launched it from aws console and since uh, it was my personal account so i launched it with some default settings but trust me the steps i'm going to perform it will be on the basis of how would you create the user in an enterprise level <laughs> all right so all right let's see what we can do here so i'm going to use the very first command is to create user and with this command demo or i would say test user right i if i hit enter i might get permission denied error let's see here we go cool and the reason is because we are not executing this command from an administrative privileges so what we can do we can go into admin uh, uh, level of rights and how we can do that we will go into sudo all right i'm into root let's clear again and the very first command I'll, i showed you i'm going to run it again there we go all right second command is to grant your user permission to perform the administrative uh, kind of stuff right so that he or she uh, might not get any error so let's move on to this step zero and then test user so the uh, motto of this uh, entire uh, command is uh, to grant test user access to a pseudo group pseudo group must be there when you work in an organization level um, um, or, or any instance that is launched in the enterprise level like i said before all right so i'm going to add this to that group which already has that permission of administrative rights right i hit enter i get nothing that's cool let's move on to the next step password oh okay password hyphen d and this is going to disable it for our user test user right the reason why we are doing it because we wanted the new user to access this machine through ssh private keys not from the password if you are working in any organization and um, somebody says hey i have got my uh, new team member and i just want him or her to access um, this machine through um, password or through uh, ssh keys so when they say password you don't have to disable it you just need to you know uh, enter uh, or execute the very first command you add user test user and you might get a prompt to enter the password just enter the password copy it and give it to the user but when he says i want him to access this machine using the ssh private keys so there are more steps to perform so the very first step for that is to disable the password first right so i'm going to disable it and it's success cool now to perform for the steps i'll first have to move on to my user so i am now in test user see that right test user at the red ip very cool all right now i'm clearing this up so that uh, we can now uh, perform further steps for this particular user so like i said we'll have to use the ssh keys so ssh keys in and the kind of the type of uh, that as skills rsa and we hit enter enter file in asking where we like to save it i'll choose the default and it's created the directory under my user that we created and the ssh directory so when you try to create a new key it uh, the ssh directory gets automatically created so i'll uh, keep this empty the passphrase is for security but you can keep this empty for now right okay so let's move on to our ssh directory with this command and let's see what we all have in here so we have two files one is idrsa and the second one is idrsa.pub idrsa is nothing but the pem file which we will in the end of this video or when we uh, test the login uh, using this user we'll see we will use private keys so private keys uh, would be converted from the pem key which is this one idrsa right but it would be authenticated if you add the public key which is the second file to the authorized keys 
under this directory. So this is what we are going to do next, right? Okay, so first of all, I'll uh, extract the content of idrsa.perl. So we would add the content under authorized keys, like I said. So this is the content. I'll copy this and I'll move on to the authorized keys. They should be exactly the same. Authorized underscore keys. There we go. I'll go ahead, right click, paste, escape, colon, WQ, exclamation mark. What is it doing? Is it writing and quitting the file? That means saving the file and coming out of it. Hit enter, we are out, all right? Okay, so, but authorized keys are the, uh, you know, folder that uh, has permission, uh, or I would rather say the owner can have permission to this uh, uh, authorized keys in order to, you know, uh, have the successful authentication. So what I'll do next is I'll uh, change the permission using chmod, right? And I'll put the code as this one. There are a lot of codes, uh, you can Google it and get uh, the knowledge uh, on those codes. So for now, we'll use 600. And I'll now extract the content of the next uh, file, M file, so that uh, we can use it to log in to the uh, instance. So this is the PEM file. What I'll do is I'll go ahead and again copy this and save it to a notepad. Notepad. Let's say this and I'll save it like this. Uh, it should be all files and it should be test user dot them i'm sorry dot them okay save so i have saved it dot them the, if you see the pattern the pem file should be like this it starts with begin rsa private key ends with end rsa private key cool now what i'll do next is i'll oh, for, uh, just uh, forget about this i just uh, mistakenly right clicked so you don't have to do this all right, so I'll uh, right click here and create a new session. New session would be uh, the IP. I'll uh, put the IP here and the IP is for me 30.1.6.20.95. I'll put the port as 22 because we are using the SSH authentication. I'm browsing the uh, private key. But if you see, we don't see any private key. We just have PEM file here. And instance can be, you know, accessed only through private key. So what we can do, we'll go ahead and, uh, sorry, not putty, we'll use putty gen. So you should have it downloaded uh, prior uh, doing all of this stuff. Putty and putty gen are the uh, important softwares to, you know, utilize this uh, instance login part. I'll load uh, the PEM file. It should be in the download. I'll say all files. Here we go. I'm sorry. Where is it? Um, mm -mm, downloads. Oh, we saved it here under documents. No problem. All right, we'll use here. And we loaded it and now we are saving the private key. So we are saving it like test user dot ppk. We don't have to use uh, dot ppk because it's uh, saving uh, as ppk type only. So we can save it. Now let's uh, go back to the terminal where we were uh, kind of testing this. So we were supposed to browse this like this. And just click browse again. We'll move on to the document. We have test user here. Click open. And it's asking me how you would like to log in, what username you would like to choose. So the username is test user. There we go. Cool. So this is what we wanted to achieve at first place. So if you in future 
work while working in an organization and deployed some EC2 machines and you want or user wants you to uh, have uh, individual user and uh, keys you can go through this video perform these steps trust me it would be working fine thank you for watching this i'll come up with more content next time